Cancer, how are you doing? Welcome into this reading. You have been guided by your own spiritual team to come in here to get a message that you need to be receiving. I trust spirit energy, I trust spirit guides, angels, ancestors, that they always do everything the way it's meant to be. There is no mistake ever in life and you are here to receive a message that you need to get right at this time. These readings are also timeless, so when you get it, you are meant to receive it. Cancer, let's find out what's going on in your life. First of all, we're going to get out your energy. So I'm going to be looking at you right now and the energy that you carry, what's going on with you. Then I'm going to be looking at the situation going on around you and get spirit guides to tell you something, advise you, just speak to you at the end of the reading. So we've got here a canary spirit. I love it so much. I love it so much. Uh, cancer, <clears throat> sing your own song. Sing your own song. You have got to be 100% who you want to be. And I feel like right now, there, there's either two things happening here. I feel like you could be maybe not living your authentic original self. And it's almost like you are trying to reveal who you are to the world. And you're at this point where you could be making a decision about your life and about who you are, about where you're going, about the person you want to be. And the person that you currently are right now may not be in alignment with what that is. You could be on the brink of making possibly the biggest decision of your life. Here with this um, sing your own song energy. So let's get in here. Let's get some tarot out. Let's go deeper. We're going to get some clarifiers out for you as well. So we really go deep into the tarot and find out what this is. Okay. We got. I'm taking the cards that I can visibly see. Okay. So we are looking at here, two cards have fallen, a Ten of Swords. A Ten of Swords, this is not good energy. This is something that you want to come to an end. I do feel like it's about your authenticity, it's about who you are, it's about the person that you want to be, and also the experiences that you want to be having, being alive, okay? And it's not the Ten of Swords. Something has hurt you here, you've been through quite a tough time, and you're ready to let this go four of wands comes in here i feel like this is where your song that you want to sing the four of wands is also known as the 11 11 um uh, uh card okay and 11 11 means the beginning of a new cycle in your life and i feel like you're making a decision this could be possibly the biggest decision you've ever made because of the four of wands coming in here because it shows what you actually want. It shows you want to be surrounded, first of all, by the people that support you and not hurt you. And it shows that you want to be living a life that you can absolutely just celebrate. This is beautiful. So let's go in now into some clarifiers here to go a bit deeper into what these energies are. What are the driving forces here? What is made this energy come up in this reading okay let's go deeper into the ten of voices or ten of swords and the four of inspiration which is the four ones let's have a look and see temperance okay and the lovers card wanting balance for some of you guys you've had maybe a very negative kind of like relationship here um where you <clears throat> never had a person that really hurt you i hope it's not happening now as well do try to make a way out of it it's almost like you couldn't be yourself you had to walk on eggshells and pretend to be somebody else for others of you you have actually had a situation this is a major decision that you are making by the way it's a very big decision you've had a situation with the ten of swords where your life was not in balance it was not the right path that you were meant to be on and i feel this is what i know about things like depression okay for some of you guys, you could have started to suffer from depression. Depression happens from a spiritual point of view, not from a medical point of view. I'm not a medical doctor. It's just from what I learned spiritually working with spirit. When you are not living your truth, you are not doing the things that your soul wants to do. Okay. You are not being the person that you are in your heart, in your soul here. You are somebody else because you're not in the right place depression will happen and depression comes in to show you that something is wrong here and I feel like this is about you needing to be where you need to be <clears throat> temperance has rocked up here clarifying the tenor voices 
<laughs> excuse me sorry i've even got fans running in the background i think it's causing me to cough a little bit but it is very very hot guys i do apologize for that background noise as well that is too hot okay with this energy temperance coming in yeah this is sagittarius's energy this shows me clarifying the ten of swords that you are done with the situation you do not want something to repeat again here in your life temperance reverse card means there's something that you don't like that is out of balance in your life and you do not want that to repeat again and that's why you you're making this move and the four of inspiration aligns with the balance you've got gemini coming into your reading here with the lovers card that's why this can be it could have been a relationship here for others of you that it's not a relationship it's life you know it's just where you found yourself what you thought you were doing was right maybe making other people happy even um it's about putting the unbalance right in your life it's about living a life that you love that's in balance for you that's your truth a life that you can celebrate and you are being guided here by the angels you are being guided by angels here um i remember when i came into the reading i actually said i feel like your angels or your spirit guides or um i did mention angels as well are guiding you here and it came out like i spoke a bit about it longer than i was supposed to so i do feel like you are being guided okay so let's go in here and look at the situation around you what you need to know about events happening around you <laughs> electric eel spirit comes in here bring your ideas to life cancer make who you want to become a reality it's all up to you do whatever you want to do you have this body and you have this heart and mind and soul and you are every day making decisions uh, according to who you want to be where you want to go what you want to do and make those decisions according to what it is you would love yourself to become or maybe even revealing your truth to the world Trust me, I've been through this. When I started my spiritual journey, I knew from pretty young that I was a witch, but I never really owned up to it until I really hit like my 30s. And then it was kind of like a, yeah, Deborah, stop denying this. You are doing what you are doing and you can't, keep, I knew authentically like you're a witch. And, but it took me some time to actually reveal that to the world. Okay, to say you are the head witch on YouTube, you know, out there on Instagram, out there all over the world. And it took me time to sing my own song, my own truth. And let me tell you something, when I actually did it, you don't understand how life will just fall into place for you. It will absolutely just fall into place because the moment you become your truth, truth enters your life. The moment you become in balance with who you truly are, you become in balance with the universe. You become in balance with the movement of this entire galaxy, this entire cosmos, how every planet is just moving. Our, our earth is perfectly tilted to have life on it. And it's almost like that was its perfect perfection, to be perfect the way it was meant to be. It unfolded everything that we see. You need to tilt to become in balance with who you truly are. When you do that, you're going to move in a dance with the universe and the universe is going to respond to you and your life will move forward in ways that you don't even comprehend. Okay, that's why I feel like this is possibly going to be one of the biggest decisions you will ever make. Okay, take control. The emperor rocking up in your reading and the page of wands bring this reality into being take control of what it is you want your life to be like take those ideas okay the ideas the page of want bring your ideas to life take control and begin to make those steps towards what it is that you would like your life to look like coming in here let's get clarifies out here <clears throat> High Priestess and the Four of Pentacles, it is going to these new directions that you'll take. And it's not one step, by the way. It's a, 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 a more than one. It's an unfolding of steps that you will take. 
in your life. It's all decisions that you are making, one decision at a time. You're going to be making these choices. And as you move forward, it is going to bring out the real you. <clears throat> the High Priestess here is aligned with the Emperor. And this is very important energy because it's exactly what I was talking about. You, this is what I was explaining to you about your truth putting you into alignment with the universe. And that will make the universe respond to you in a very different way and reveal to you a path. Okay, maybe bring a sports car to you. <clears throat> Sorry about that. That is one of my neighbors who lives down the road. He has a fancy sports car. And he has also two cars. He's got a fancy stuck blue BMW. And they all sound like that. So maybe this is coming in quicker than what we think, okay? So with this energy coming in here, you have to understand, taking control of your reality, it has an energetic effect on your reality. It has a spiritual effect on your reality. That's why it's important to live your truth, okay? And it's going to change something, this, this ideas. The, big, the steps that you're taking show up here as the page of wands. It's going to change something about you. I feel... Okay, I don't know if this is for everyone. You are Cancer. So I do have a Cancerian daughter. I know how Cancer is. And I feel like there's an insecurity in you at this moment. Because you're not really revealing your true self. It's like you're holding, holding yourself closed, you know, like this. And I feel like... <clears throat> You may be afraid of how people will actually start to react to you if you start to move in a new direction, if you start to reveal like more, you open up yourself, you know, to the world. And um, you shouldn't worry about that because the people who will react in a negative way towards you revealing who you are, those are not your people. Those are not the people who will love you for who you are. Then they don't really love you. You know, I feel like if you open yourself up here and you start to show yourself here, uh, your life will align with exactly the people who will fall madly in love with you. Because maybe that's, if you're single especially, if you're not being authentically yourself, the person can meet you, the right person, but they don't really ever meet you. They just meet another version of you and they're like, oh, okay, this person is okay. But if they can actually meet the true you, that fall madly in love because that's who they're looking for. Okay, so always remember that. Let's get Spirit Guide advice for you out. <clears throat> How interesting. Chameleon Spirit comes in here and they say, act as if you're not yet that person. Start acting as if you are. Okay, you're not yet singing your own song. You're on the way there. You're, you're going, okay. You're taking it step by step. Start acting as if you are really the person who you want to be right now. This is key. Um, because the way you act and the way you feel yourself as being um, is how the world will respond to you. What you carry is what you bring. Okay. So if you're carrying insecurity and you're hiding your light, okay, um, insecurity and darkness will be brought to you. Okay. It's all what you carry. Okay, so if you start acting as if you are that person you want to be, you're living the life that you want to live, you're moving in that direction, you're like, you know what, I am a, an amazing business person, I am artistic, I am creative, and you act as if you are that energy, because you are, it will then come in into your life, okay, that's why it's almost like um, believing something before you see it. Okay, so advice coming in here, life is going to change very, very quickly for you and a complete shift and change will happen. Complete new life. This, if you act as if you're already becoming who you want to be. You want to go out there, I've actually got green hair, it shines in the, in the light, so I've got green hair. I do whatever the heck I like, okay? If I want to put a tattoo somewhere, I put a tattoo somewhere. If I want to wear black all day long, even at my age, I do it. If I want to um, wear a specific kind of outfit, I do it. If I want to go do something, I go do it. I never let anything hold me back. Um, that's why I have a YouTube channel. And if you do this, that acting as if it's going to rapidly move your life, Knight of Swords, that is speed, okay? 
into another way of being. Awakening your true self is the judgment card. You are going to step out of the life that you are currently living in and step straight into another one where you can be who you really mean to be. And how that is going to happen is because you're going to change. When you change, act as if, so you start to change. It is a law of the universe of energy it is the law when you change what you are the external world around you it has to change as well it must match with you so right now if you look at your life everything that you're experiencing everything that you can physically see has been created from the person that you are and if you want to change this external reality, then you need to become another person. When that happens, your reality changes. Because that's how it is. Look at that. Queen of Swords energy, King of Swords energy. Boom! You're going to become somebody else. King and Queen of Swords. You're going to, you're going to know, you're going to reveal yourself to the world. And a part of you revealing yourself here involves swords, okay? It involves the sword energy. It involves almost like, I don't care. Because that is queen and king of swords. They are pursuing a life. They know clearly who they are. Because that's clarity. It's air energy. They're using their mind, okay, to forge a reality. And they know who they are. And they are open. They're open to the world. And they're showing themselves, look at me. I am the king and queen of swords, okay? And it's almost like this energy of um, also no fear. I feel like you don't have absolutely any fear here. You almost get to this place where you are so confident with who you are. You reach some kind of goal here with the king of swords and you are not afraid of how anybody is going to react to you. And I feel like you demand respect or you command respect in this energy. People will respect you here because people respect the King and Queen of Swords energy. It's almost like when you walk into a room, you will carry yourself just like that. You'll be like, and people will just be like, but how, how are you? Respectfully towards you because you own it. you owning it here. Go for this. Go for what this is. Sing your own song. Move forward and create this unbelievable change. You're one decision away here. One of the most important decisions of your life to bring a reality into your life that maybe you would never have gotten into. One decision. For me, I love change. So I would absolutely go for this. <laughs> there we go. I am asking my spirit guides and your spirit guides to please open ways for you to remove any blockages that may block you as you move into this new life my categories okay and so that you can step into the kind of life and become the kind of person my cat is agreeing one more time that you need to be i'm sending my love to you as always and i will see you next time bye